My daughter Jessie is an alcoholic. You're wasted. She has sucked the life out of all of us. When Jessie's drunk, she becomes belligerent. Tell Dr. Phil what I am. A piece of I just want to know why you drank. Get away from me before I freak out. Tell me what your biggest fear is. I don't think Jessie's going to live a couple more months. I picture every day coming home from work that she's going to be dead. That's what you're doing to her. That's what you're doing to him. That's what you're doing to your brother. Why? Because I'm a selfish person. I drink a gallon of vodka a day. You're such an alcoholic. Go away. These are the woods behind my house. And I like to hide a lot of my liquor bottles in here. I have driven drunk numerous times. I drove with my son. I was drunk the whole time. Didn't even think about it. I used to work at a preschool, and on my break, I would get a pint of vodka, and I would drink half of it. I never got caught. So you were working at the preschool? Yes. Drunk around these kids? I was never drunk, but I was buzzed. You, you steal money from your parents? Yes. You lost custody of your son? Correct. You, you've driven drunk with your son? You ain't got far to run, girl. My husband has full custody of my son. Seven to 10 days a month, I get to see my son. I want to party too much, but I'm not in the right state of mind to be a full-time mom. Why did you walk off? Because I'm so pissed at you right now. Yeah, you told my I producer can't... backstage <laughs> him, he's not taking my son away from me, right? Right. Yeah. You don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I do. I'm not like your parents. I'm not guilt motivated. I don't give a whether you like me or whether you don't. Your life's not working. Okay. It's not working mentally, emotionally, psychologically, or physically. Not at all. How about we clean you up for real, and then we go back to court and get that little boy and put him in your lap where he belongs? What do you think about that? I think that sounds amazing. When I went on the show, I was at such a low point. I was pleading to God to let me die. I had lost full custody of my son. I realized what I had been doing was completely tearing my family apart. I definitely needed the reality check. The one thing that Dr. Phil said to me that really stuck was, How about we get that little boy and put him in your lap where he belongs? And it was then that I knew I was going to go away to treatment and take hold of recovery and run with it. I hadn't had that kind of hope in years. Now I have three years and almost 10 months of sobriety. I have custody of my son now, and it feels amazing. <laughs> Every day I wake up being thankful for life. Dr. Phil, thank you.